All right, so now we're in butterfly guard position and we're gonna work to get to the back, all right? So same kind of idea with the arm drag. We'll say right now he just kind of puts his hands on my shoulders and look, I'm gonna drag one side. Just like the same as standing. Might be here and then just pick a side. Boom, all right? Now as I do that drag, this leg needs to come out. Like that. Now as I pull, I'm gonna butt scoot in and face him. Look how I hug the hip. And now the hand that's hugging the arm is gonna base to the mat. I'm just gonna pop my hip up right here. Notice how I'm not double hooking. Keep your sole to the inside and this knee just goes over top of the foot and ankle. So I'm controlling them mainly with my, my knees pinching around as I get my seatbelt grip. Now, when I'm in my butterfly position, it's important that I'm not above my hips with my shoulders or behind, because when he pushes in in that sense, I'm gonna go right down. But I keep my butt back and my shoulders forward so he can push into me and I'm pretty strong. That's gonna give me time to get an arm drag. So good posture in the beginning, arm drag. As my arm comes in, my leg goes out, drag, Pull and scoop, control the hip. Base, control the leg, and then finish with your seatbelt. Good posture, drag, butt scoot in, control the hip. Notice my head is above, above him right now, not below. Face to the mat, kind of pull on the hip. Hip goes up, get that good foot hook right here, once again over the shoulder. Now, of course, anytime you take the back, we can complete it and finish out with that rear naked choke. I always encourage that with the kids. If they already know the choke, just let them finish with that all the time so they're always getting reps on it whenever we take the back. Okay, so that's how we take the back, right? But we also have the double leg, and that works the same as if we're here, and I go for the drag, and once again, he's pulling that arm back. Don't post yet. Right now, he's just trying to pull it back. Yeah. So again, like that. Very common. So my leg was already out. As he pulls, look what happens now. My second foot's gonna come out. And my knee is just pointed between the legs. So we're right here. Like this. So I wanna be able to kind of rock up as we connect shoulders right here. And now the hand that's on the elbow or tricep is gonna go for the far knee. This is just basically gonna hug the hip, just kind of blocking the leg. And I push, just like the double leg, I'm gonna push with my head, drive over, trip him over my arm, blocking the legs and then switch it out with my knee. And then I rise up in side control. So as I drag, my leg comes out, number one, my second foot folds in and I rock up. All right, we can just scoot to the side that way for a second. So I'm like this and I rock up, all right? Boom. Now from here, I'm gonna be pushing with my head, blocking the far leg. And this arm just ready to block the other leg as needed. I push and drive, trip them over that arm, keep punching the leg through until I can replace my arm with my leg. Now that arm can come out, control the head as I work up. Okay, we're not practicing this in this series necessarily, but it is common that when I come here, they will put that hand just like in standing, right? And still we're gonna go to the two and one in this situation. I uh, have a different attack series that we're not focused on right now, but it's definitely there. So I can still use that same counter even on the ground. 